I'm up. Once again, it's better for me to turn this thing on. Like that, and give you that kind of lighting than it is for me to put you through the pain and struggle of trying to endure the lighting it takes from that tiny little lamp over there. That one. Oh, I miss summer. Look at the size of that fish. Small mouth. All right. Let's go. Phew! Bless me. Uh, welcome to day 12. Shane Davenport, the right Do it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> I'm in a plank. Durance. Bridge. I don't have a ball. So. Oops. <laughs> kind of your equipment. Easy to be in sync. It's not that hard. Creative. No excuses. None. I don't think I had my audio on before. I'll show you a clip right now and have the audio. I actually like that because then I can, then I can actually put the camera in the corner. But my lighting might still kind of be kind of, kind of sporadic. I don't see. The camera's turned the wrong way. Something I noticed, I had to draw my hand, and then I also had to draw some sort of microscopic thing. You know what I noticed, though? Look at this. See that triangle right there? That triangle with a curved edge. And then this hand, this hand's different. Equilateral triangle right here. See that? I drew on it before, that's why it's got smudge marks. It's like a curved equilateral because of the fall. Through my hand today, so look at my hand. Telling stories is honestly not easy. It's not easy. So I wanted to show you some gear today that I use when I shoot some of the stuff. This is the Cowboy Studio Light Pack. I've got this, you've seen this before. This umbrella light here. So I can shoot it. 8.57 p.m. The H4N is up here. You can't really see it. I have a way you can though. You're in the vlog now. So, oh, that'd be a, that'd be a, that'd be a very good thumbnail actually to have you guys in the shot. We got, we got a lot of mirror. We got a lot of mirror work going on here. Like I can make it look like there's a room over there, but there isn't. Right up here. Yep. And I can give you some mirror reception if you really want some mirror reception. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Fun. So this is a Hi8 Sony Handycam that before this we actually had to fit giant VCRs inside of a camcorder. But we don't, I don't know what happened to that one, but this is what we used to use on... Um, on tapes, and it's got like night vision mode, and it's got the front. And there's where the tapes. There's where the tapes would go. Record button. It's got the little. Oh, there's, there was a net in there. First ever stuff was shot on here. We went to like the the mini DVs, like these. This one. This is a 1.2 megapixel still picture recording. Dicomar Leica, Leica. It's pretty sweet. It has the battery pack and it's got the small... Uh, there's there's a there's a net in here. It goes back and forth like that. And then that fit a little bit smaller tapes. This is what I used to record all the, all the fishing DVDs and game DVDs on. So tapes would go right inside here. Inside this piece. Move to like Panasonic. Here's another one. Scratches in the front. Look at the scratches. This fit SD cards in the bottom. And this was 3.1 megapixels. Panasonic brand. You can see the up here. And then I went to a cyber shot and it was kinda like this one. It was a it was a blue one. I lost it. I don't know what I did with it, but there was kinda like one of these. Um, this is still this is an eight point one megapixel Carl Zeiss Vario Tassar Sony that my mom had. But I don't think that it has a USB port on it anywhere. It still works. I mean look. It's not bad. It still works well. Too old of a model, probably early 2000s Cybershot. Older than that, that took batteries. This is an Olympus digital camera, 3.2 megapixels. It took double A's. Fantastic though, so good. I still have double A's so you can take pictures on it. Uh, look, that's my favorite thing though, is the size of the freaking memory card. This, look at the size of this thing. This is a 16 megabyte memory card. This is 16 megabytes. <laughs> oh, way outdated, but still. Still exists. Still got it. And then I had a black Cybershot Canon. Use this this charger, I think. It was a little black one, and I broke the screen. Now, of course, we have our 
our handy dandy iPhones. Um, I always use the internal mic on this on this camera. I had a T3 before this, uh, which is really, really nice. Uh, some of the early videos that I made outside and the ones I did walk and talks and I held up, that was the T3, mainly for things and took pictures with that. And then I got this one. Honestly, it doesn't matter what camera you have as long as you keep creating and tell a good story. And as you can see, I'm still learning how to tell a good story. So have a, this is the Manfrotto tripod with the shoulder mount like this. The shoulder mount, stuff like this. You can come down, kick and I just played a guard.io for way too long and got into second place and then got taken out. The three cameras that I have currently are this one and then a power shot, this tiny one, I don't really use that, my phone, and then this. This is a Panasonic and it is a HDD disc, so it doesn't have tapes anymore. It has pre record 10.6 megapixel pictures. It's nice. Hard drives. Hard drives and memory cards now. Nifty. And then before I had the actual main Frodo, which is the shoulder mount tripod you have out there, I have a um, like a regular 6200DX tripod. This is what I use for concerts. It's probably like 50, 60 bucks. I mean, Frodo's are, are pretty much around the same price too, but they're really, they're really nice. My favorite thing about this though is you can pan and then you can extend. The Frodo doesn't have this middle piece here, this lock piece that locks the legs together. Some, some, a zoom lens and a GoPro with an LCD screen on the back of it, and that's pretty much it. A long time ago, I used to have a Kodak camera. That's like a, it, it physically goes right underwater and without a case on it. Uh, that was for science and fishing experiments I was doing in high school. There are plenty of tools to create. Just start. I love it. And the occasional selfie stick goes a long way too. Keeping you, GFTBA. See you guys tomorrow. Everybody, Polka. Bye-bye. I don't know what I'm doing. It's fun though.